presentation. Doesn't matter how big or how small. Doesn't matter if you're just going to go and see one small business owner and they have a little problem or they need incentives or they need to understand what the DTI can do for them or what the PEPP can do for them or what the BOI can do for them or what the site can do for them. When you go to make that little presentation, you must be ready for it. What are the things that you need to do? Number one, you need to understand what are your own objectives. What are your own objectives? Way before you go to solve somebody else's problem, you must ask yourself, Raju, why are you going to Pangasinan? Why are you going to La Union? What is your objective? Are you going there because it's your job? Are you going there because somebody commanded you to do so? Are you going there because you want to add value to the customer you're going to? Any number of questions. Are you going there because there's a challenge? Are you going there because you want to sell something? Whatever it is, as long as you do deep introspective research on your own objectives, that's the step one. That's the foundation stone of doing research for a great presentation. Make sense to you? Hmm? So step one, you do research on your own. Number two, you research on what he is or what possible quality of customer he is, who your stakeholder is, what does he need? Right? You know what you are in the business for. You know what you are doing the presentation for. You need to check what is he going to need. Are you with me? Is he a big businessman? Is he a Chinese businessman? Is he a corrupt businessman? Is he an innovative businessman? Well, there are. Right? In this world, there are. So, whatever it is, it's a small group. It's a, it's a palanque that needs help. Whatever it is, you find out what is it that they need. So, what is it that you want to achieve? What is it that they need? <coughs> Ask yourself, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six. Endless questions until you feel satisfied enough. Because to research, there is no end. The more data you have, the more quantity of data you have, the better the quality of your output will be. You'll be able to choose a lot more. Hmm? To the answers that you need. So two, one, your personal objectives, your customers' needs. Third, you need to check on the environment. That means something outside of this. That means outside of who I am, who my customer is, what else is happening in the, in the economy? What else is happening in the world so that when you provide something of value to them, it becomes useful to them, not just because it is coming from you and going to them, but also it's useful to the ecology. When I say ecology, I mean business, circumstances, to the country's laws, to the nation's uh, uh, legislation, to the country's goals, the country's missions, whatever it is. That's what ecology is. So you need to figure that in into your research, no matter how big or small the presentation is. So that's how deep your research must be. So this morning we talked about how do you create content that is important. You create content through three areas of research. Personal, customer, and the environment.